Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's a little bit after two on Friday. The monkey has had enough. I, I've been doing day job stuff all day, and that included two calls, and I'm incredibly frustrated and annoyed, and I'm just done for the day. We're heading to Pleasure House Point now, and we're gonna go play with this damn gear, and we're gonna have fun, gosh dang it. I brought the obviously the the a7 IV with the 16 to 35 which is it's permanent setup pretty much and i have the a7r4 with the 70 to 200 on it plus at the at this point right now i've got the two times extender on it and then i also brought the 200 to 600. i'm going to take a, a 200 millimeter picture then i'm going to take a 200 millimeter picture with the crop mode enabled and then I'm going to take it again with the crop mode enabled and the two times extender on it. And that way we can see, you know, those those three stages of the 200 millimeter on the 70 to 200. Then I'm going to throw on the 200 to 600 and I'm going to do those three pictures again with this, the, you know, the far end of 600. So it'll be 600 millimeters, then 600 millimeters in crop mode, then 600 millimeters crop mode plus the two times extender. I got to say, I'm pretty stoked to see what that 1800 millimeters is going to get me. Let's go to Pleasure House Point and play. Remember, I'm constantly telling you guys how you have to have something that just brings peace to your soul. For me, it's this. And as I walk down this pathway to get to the entrance, I slowly start shedding all the shit of life. And once I walk past this threshold here, that's it. I am now instantly relaxed. I'm in my happy place. And I'm bringing you along as usual. So let's go find us some birds. Okay, so there's a great egret right there. A little hard to see him because I got the 35 on here. And I just took a number of pictures that I said I was gonna take. This is really hard to do. I didn't bring enough like lens caps to cover all this stuff. So I probably have a ton of shit inside my lenses now. <sighs> Okay, kids, as usual, I had way too much gear to carry. It just doesn't work. Absolutely doesn't work. I don't know how many times I have to do this to myself. It's impossible to film properly and take decent pictures properly when I'm carrying that much stuff. So that's why you got this video the way that you got it. I couldn't film and take these pictures. Once you put that 200 to 600 lens on there, all bets are off. That thing is just too damn big and heavy to carry and hold on to a filming setup and try to get decent pictures with. But I will tell you this, the reach on that 200 to 600 with crop mode enabled and that two times extender, it's almost too close. That great egret that I took those pictures of, I mean, pretty much I had to try to just get its head because it was so close I couldn't get a full body. And the other thing is that when you're out at, at, at 1800, the slightest movement, it, it looks like I'm having a seizure. Definitely, definitely that setup would have to be on a tripod. Now I had it on this little tripod, but that's not set up for, for a big birding setup like that. So it was very, very difficult to keep it in place and get decent pictures. Okay, kids. So that was an interesting trip out to Pleasure House Point. Like I whined about, it was just too much gear. I never seemed to learn my lesson. I always think, well, all right, I got to film this, but I got to take this and I got to take that. And I'll just take a backpack and, oh, I better bring my stool this time. And, you know, the next thing I know, I'm plodding through there with all this freaking gear and there's just too much of it. And I can't actually then take a decent picture or film anything well because it's just, it's too much. So I looked at the pictures. I'm going to say that the two times extender on the 70 to 200 is actually pretty awesome. I mean, the pictures on that were, were pretty stellar and it gave me obviously not 200 to 600 range, but it, it gave me, it gave me really good pictures, you know, that I think that if I zoom in on everything was really clear and, you know, if I were actually just standing there and, and taking my time with the pictures, not standing there trying to hold my film camera and balance the a7r4 and taking a picture, they would have been even better. The combination is so light. I mean, that two times extender adds like no weight. It isn't a problem at all. So 
that means that basically I'm walking around with a 100 to 400 and it's not even nearly as big or heavy as the actual 100 to 400 and I guess I'm gonna get fairly similar results. With the 200 to 600, definitely felt the difference. N not in weight or, or size or anything like that, but in picture quality. It took it all the way up to, instead of 6.3, it took it all the way up to 13. Like F13 was as, as low as I could go. Everything was just a little bit softer. The autofocus didn't catch where I wanted it to every time. However, comma, I will say again, I did not have the proper setup. I was carrying too much gear. So trying to hold that damn thing steady was an exercise in futility. So I think if I actually just went in there with, you know, the carbon fiber tripod, the, the inner rail, the actual birding tripod with the gimbal head on it and everything took my time and, and that's all I was doing. I think it would be much better, but I also think it's going to have to be a nice sunny day because there were a lot of soft pictures and that's when the bird was in a tree. So it wasn't always in the sun. And a lot of times it was focusing on like the pine needles that were in front of it instead of the actual bird itself. Again, I was using the A7R4, so it, it has animal uh, like eye detection, not bird. I didn't even bother to try it with the A7 IV because it was just it was just stressing me out trying to, to switch lenses and, and you know, eh. no. If I go out there strictly with this camera, with everything already set up, I'm sure that it might work better. I may give that a try. Why? I will give that a try. I just don't know when. The bottom line is I'm stoked that I got that two times extender. I think it's going to pretty much be used almost exclusively when I have the 70 to 200 on the camera, unless I'm going out there with the 200 to 600 with the full birding wildlife setup, then I think it will be beneficial. And I also found, especially when I was shooting this great egret that had landed, when I did the, the 600, the 900, and then the 1800, the 1800 got me too close, but it was literally too close. I could only get the, you know, the egret's head in and because I couldn't keep it steady because it was just like going all over the place, none of the shots really were all that great. You know, the trade-off. Those are my initial thoughts about the two times extender with my 70 to 200 version two and my 200 to 600, only using it on the A7R4. It was, a, it was an annoying day job, stressful day, and it shouldn't have been and I definitely needed to get out there and relax. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.